The LA Auto Show 2021 is one of the few automotive events you can visit in person, in current conditions, and this is exactly what I did. In this episode, I will cover Fisker Ocean and Vinfast, and you will also hear directly from the representatives of Edison Future, Electromechanica, Indiv, and Merlin. Stay tuned! Bakunin Live. Hi there, I'm Michael Bakunin and this channel is all about electric vehicles and related technology. Back in 2013 when I started working for Nissan, EVs were still a novelty and the majority was not convinced at all that electrification is going to come. Well, this is rapidly changing. A lot of people call 2021 the year of EVs, which you can clearly see when visiting the LA Auto Show. Don't get me wrong, they were still plenty of vehicles with gasoline engines, but all the big news came from electric. Nissan Aria, Toyota BZ4X, Subaru Solterra, Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo, all those vehicles were getting a lot of attention. By the way, kudos to the Subaru team, I really really liked your booth and visuals and the story you are telling. I won't spend much time on this uh, vehicle today, but if you are curious, I'll add a link in the corner up here to the episode about Subaru Solterra on my channel. Fisker is promising that deliveries of the new crossover Fisker Ocean will start in a year from now in November 2022, but reservations are already open. When I was choosing an EV for my family of five earlier this year, I realized that not so much is being offered in the full-size SUV segment. We see this starts changing. Fisker Ocean looks massive but also is reasonably priced. The more affordable variant, which comes with a 275 horsepower motor, 250 miles driving range and front wheel drive will be around 37.5 thousand US dollars. For the most powerful all-wheel drive trim with 550 horsepower, you need to pay something close to 70 thousand. Fisker Ocean will be manufactured by Austrian Magna Steyr and has a couple of unique features features such as a large 17-inch rotating screen and a solar panel roof, which can add up to 2,000 miles of driving range in California each year. Another car maker which introduced a massive pickup truck and a van with a solar panel roof at the LA Auto Show was Edison Future. My name is Edmund Shen. I'm the uh, VP of the product and also uh, the supply chain for the Edison Future. I am also the lead of this new product uh, development for this new EV vehicle. This vehicle is a very unique and this is the off-road uh, pickup truck. And you can see 100% electric and very powerful. And they have a very long range for the highest um, the, uh, the silver model. It can run like a 450 miles per charge. Plus, we have a very unique feature for the uh, solar charger. And this solar charger is, is also very powerful. And uh, under the good sunshine of uh, you know, California, you can get about 25 to 35 additional range for free um, in addition of the normal charge per day. Uh, the horsepower for the dual motor is about 700 horsepower. And for the tri-motor is about 815. The van is actually share the same kind of a platform of, as the uh, pickup truck. Yeah, and uh, the van is more focused for the people, for such as like uh, some contract people, they want just like a van so that they can cruise everything. So, uh, or you can use it for delivery, or you can use it for family, all these kind of purposes. Yeah, and this van is also pretty powerful because they share the same platform and uh, yeah, it's an uh, off-road, off-road van, not like just a normal van. Yeah. Another two full-size electric SUVs uh, which gained a lot of attention from the media were the concept cars from Hyundai and Kia. Massive and very impressive. Obviously, they are cousins and far from being final, but the good news, car makers like Hyundai and Kia can actually apply a scale effect to electrification. What I actually mean, they are going to utilize the new fully electric eGMP platform for future vehicles across all their family brands such as Hyundai, 
Kia and Genesis. And if you are not familiar with the eGMP platform yet, I recommend you watching this video about Kia EV6 on my channel. Those are massive EVs. But the one I truly enjoyed exploring was a much smaller in size, an e-roadster looking like a Porsche 356 Speedster electric vehicle. Hi, right, so what we have here is the uh, Electromechanica e-roadster. Um, it, it has a battery pack of 50 kilowatts. Um, it has a motor of 135 kilowatts, which is equivalent to 181 horsepower. Uh, the torque is a 235 pounds. Zero to 60 is 6.5 seconds. The color is actually a stone gray. It's original color for that model year. Um, the combined estimated uh, range is about 160 miles, but once again, this is a prototype, and when production happens, they do expect to have that increased. Um, and the curb weight is about 2,600 pounds. So this prototype is extremely drivable. It's been driving all around Arizona, uh, Vancouver, Vancouver and Canada, and then uh, we'll be hitting a few uh, events here in Los Angeles as well. Uh, the car debuted at Barrett Jackson earlier this year um, with our solo right next to it, um, and it's it's a it's a great looking car. So what do you think? I would love to have a Roadster as a second EV in my family if I could afford it, but my wife would actually vote for. TV. Thanks John for providing me and my subscribers with the additional insights and clarifications. Hello, my name is John Santos, I'm a marketing associate here at Indy EV and I'd like to introduce to you our first ever car, the Indy One. Our Indy One is going to start off at around 45000 and we're going to be starting pre-orders beginning of next year right after CES and we're planning to roll it out at the end of next year. So Q4 of 2022. So here's our launch model. This launch model comes with a 95 kilowatt hour battery that does around 300 miles in range. And we're gonna have battery pack options that go up to 114 kilowatt hours or down to 72 kilowatt hours depending on how you use your car. This launch model goes up to a 410 horsepower, uh, zero to 16 around 5.5 seconds. Uh, one of our main flagship features that I want to talk about is our VIC, our Vehicle Integrated Computer. So what's unique about the Indy One that sets us apart from other competitions, like you know Tesla, everyone here at this convention center, they're always asking us, hey, what's the horsepower? It's a zero to 60. Yeah, our horsepower is 410, our zero to 60 is 5.5, but that's not what we want to focus on. We know in the future, power is going to be inevitable. We're going to have power in the future, we're going to go lightning fast, but right now what we want to do is focus on software, de software development. Our software, we want to pioneer our processing power, which we notice none of our other competitions uh, have been tested. So with the vehicle integrated computer, you have access to us to a software development kit that we'll give you. So you, with any application, any modifications you want to add to your car, the UI UX, completely up to you. People always make fun of us. Oh, wow, you only have a 2080 and an i7 that's going to be obsolete within the next year. Well, within the next year, we're going to add a 3080, maybe an i9 or maybe something from AMD. Who knows? We'll see. Um, Nothing specific yet, but what we really want to just emphasize is we don't even know what the true potential of this car is. That's up to you guys. We're just giving you the tools to unlock it. So when, when we launch this car, we want you to take, take it, play around with it, post it on the internet so we can see what you, creativity that you have in mind for this car. So what's really interesting about this car, it has four cameras, one facing the front, one facing the back and two inside the cabin, one facing you, kind of like a selfie in the top, and one inside the cabin as well, in the back, facing your back. So what you could do, this car is actually Twitch streamable already. So you can Twitch stream while you're in the car. Another powerful premiere at the LA Auto Show was 
VinFast. The new car brand from Vietnam unveiled two electric SUVs, a mid-size E35 with about 300 miles driving range and the full-size E36 which can go as far as 422 miles and will have 402 horsepower and 472 pound-feet of torque. Unfortunately, VinFast hasn't shared any more detailed specs yet, such as pricing, but what we know, VinFast will start taking pre-orders in the first half of 2022. Expected start of production is 2024, and the company's HQ will be in Playa Vista, not far from LA, and there are chances those vehicles will be actually manufactured in the United States. Another new EV maker, which is based in South California, is Mellon Technologies, which is promising performance on the Tesla Plaid level. Just this week here at the Los Angeles International Auto Show, we did preview the all-new Mullen 5. Now the Mullen 5 is sitting right next to me here on our turntable. You're going to notice that it is a pure electric SUV crossover. Now this Mullen 5 is going to give you a 325 mile range on a single charge. It has an electronically limited 155 miles per hour capacity and is 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. Now under the hood of this Mullen 5 you're going to find our battery technology is a 95 kilowatt lithium ion battery. You will be able to use all of the electronic charging from level 1, level 2, and level 3 charging. And if you choose to opt for level 3, you are going to be able to charge this vehicle at 80% in about 20 minutes. So we have a lot of great technology. If you want to look at the car, you'll notice as you are looking around, you'll see the little badging right here where it's lit up right on the side. We have some camera technology, two in the front, one on each little mirror on the B pillars and two in the back. Now these do have facial recognition for you. We call this persona. Now what the persona does is it gets this vehicle ready for you as you're about nine feet away from getting into the vehicle. It's gonna set your air conditioning, your seats, everything to get it ready for you as the driver. But it also, if it looks like somebody has ill intent for the vehicle, what it is going to do is it is going to let them know that that car is alarmed and it is videoing you as well. So it's got a lot of extra safety features to top. Now let's also talk about the company Mullen. Mullen is a Southern California based company. They are right out of Berea. We are actually manufacturing this vehicle in Tunica, Mississippi. So this is an American-made vehicle as well. Unfortunately, big EV names such as Tesla, Rivian and Lucid were not present at the LA Auto Show. However, I was actually able to find a few Teslas in a dark corner next to restrooms. Obviously, those were not brought to the Auto Show by Tesla, but what do you think? Is it a good idea for new tech EV companies to participate in auto shows? Do let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe, hit the like button and see you next time.